when we come to the path of yoga, why do you come? What is the goal? It is said, the goal is to win over your kingdom. The goal is to reach the state of realization. Now, in realization, what happens? Or when one is realized, what happens to him? Somebody came to a yogi and asked, Baba, what is realization? What happens in realization? He said, realization in Sanskrit is Siddha or Siddhi. S-I-D-D-H-I or S-I-D-D-H-A. One who is realized is a Siddha. Siddha Yogi, we call. A realized Yogi. Siddha Purusha, the realized person. Then, one meaning of Siddha means boiled. One meaning of Siddha, Siddha Anna, Siddha Tandula. So, one meaning of Siddha is boiled. He said, my child, when the potato is boiled, what happens? When eggplant is boiled, what happens? He said, it becomes soft. He said, those who are realized, they become very So you have to give up your own roughness, own rudeness, own anger, own ego, then you become soft. Somebody came to Sri Ramakrishna Paramahansa and asked, I want to be realized. He said, do you think by realization you will get two, two more extra hands or few more heads or few more eyes on your face? You will be the same person but your vision will change. The goal of sadhana, the goal of spiritual discipline, what is the goal? Tell me. Because you all have come to the path, you are sadhaka, tell me what is the goal for which you have come? Come on, anybody? Uh -huh. To see God, by seeing God what will happen to you? You don't know who is God. Now you will see God. Suppose somebody will come and stand in your front and tell, I am God. To know who am I? Knowing who am I, what will happen? Tell me. No, it's just, just think. Why you have come to this path? If the goal, and is the goal clear near you? Because Arjuna got confused because he is in the middle of the battlefield. He got confused. So now I am trying to put the question, don't be confused. Be very clear. What is the goal? Contact with spirit. The spirit is within you and there is no time when there is no contact with the spirit. So by contact, contacting with the spirit, what will happen to you? Now he came, he will tell, we will be in love, peace and knowledge. He told, we'll be in love, peace and knowledge. So now, if you are in love, peace and knowledge, what will happen? Tell me. Now, let us see what the scriptures have told. What is the goal? What is the goal? What the scriptures have told? We are studying the Gita. In the Gita, the last chapter is known as uh -huh, Moksha Sanyasa Yoga or Moksha Yoga. Yoga of liberation, Yoga of emancipation, that is the goal. Liberation, free from bondage. Now, who wants to be free from bondage? Tell me, one who is in bondage, if one who is in bondage wants to be free from bondage, okay, moksha me bhuyat iti itsa, I want to be free. 
I want to be free. Now, are you free or you are not free? Tell me. You are sitting in the classroom. Are you free to leave the classroom or no? Tell me. You have freedom. If you get the call of nature very strong, you can go out. Or if you don't like the class, you can leave the class. Okay, sometimes I tell, do you know, the students have much more freedom than the teacher. You think of a teacher in the school, college or university. The student comes and go, they might come and go, but the teacher is to be present there the whole period. So, if you want to be free, anybody who wants to be free must be in some bondage. And what is that bondage? The bondage of fear, bondage of ignorance, bondage of birth and death, bondage of attachment, bondage of emotion, all these you can sum, it, sum up as the result of ignorance. We want to be free from ignorance. We want to be in knowledge. We want to be, because when I'm in knowledge, then ignorance cannot play with me.